In this example, I need to find the exact value of the sine of 780 degrees. As the problem says exact value, it means don't use your calculator as that will give you a decimal approximation. You need to use the unit circle over here. But is 780 degrees on my unit circle? No, notice all the angles on the unit circle lie between 0 and 360 degrees. So I'm going to have to use coterminal angles in order to get an angle on my unit circle. So we take a given angle of 780 degrees and I want a smaller angle, so I'm going to subtract one revolution, and as I'm in degrees, that's 360 degrees, and 780 degrees minus 360 degrees is 420 degrees. But that is still bigger than one revolution, so I need to keep going, 420 degrees minus 360 degrees equals 60 degrees. And now 60 degrees is on my unit circle and it is right over here. So now I know that the sine of 780 degrees equals the sine of its coterminal angle of 60 degrees. And remember on the unit circle, the x coordinate is the cosine of that angle. The y coordinate is the sine of that angle. So since I need the sine of 60 degrees, it's the y coordinate. So it's the square root of 3 over 2. So the sine of 780 degrees is the square root of 3 divided by 2.